Lesson 5. Colloid What is colloid? A colloid is a type of mixture that has particles ranging between 1 and 1,000 nanometers in diameter that are still able to remain evenly mixed to another substance. A colloid contains a dispersion of particles of one substance or the dispersed pace throughout a dispersing medium made of another substance. Thus, colloids are classified based on the paces of both the dispersed materials and the dispersing medium. For example, when you beat an egg, you introduce air into the egg. Here, the egg is the dispersing medium and the air is the dispersed material. In a colloidal mixture, substances remain dispersed and do not settle to the bottom of the container, unlike suspension. For a mixture to be classified as a colloid, the substance in the dispersed phase must be larger than the size of a molecule but smaller than what can be seen with the naked eye. If the dimensions are smaller than this of the substance, is considered a solution, and if they are larger than the substance, is a suspension. When a beam of light is made to pass through a colloid, it is scattered by the colloidal particles which appear as tiny specks of light. This light scattering is called the Tyndall effect. No such scattering is observed with ordinary because the solute molecules are too small to interact with visible light. Colloidal particles can scatter light because they are large enough to catch light and reflect it back. When you add powdered milk to a glass of warm water, you can form a cloudy mixture but the milk particles do not settle down. The milk that you drink every day is called a colloid. Colloid is a special kind of mixture that contains very tiny particles that cannot be seen by the unaided eye. Colloid are heterogeneous mixtures with intermediate particle size between a solution and a suspension. Its particles may be seen in a beam of light such as a dust in air and shaft of sunlight. The tiny particles do not settle down. Instead, they move rapidly and collide with or bump each other. This motion of the tiny particles is called Brownian motion. The Tyndall effect is the scattering of light. As a light beam passes through a colloid, the individual suspension particles scatter and reflect light, making the beam visible. The Tyndall effect was first described by a 19th century physicist, John Tyndall. Other examples are mayonnaise, whipped cream, ketchup, gelatin, ink, styling gel, paint, ointment, cream, milk, fog. Classification of colloids. Colloids are classified based on the phase of the dispersed substance and what phase is it dispersed in? The types of colloids are the following. A sol is a solid dispersed in either solid or a liquid. Examples, opal, pearls, and other colored glass, like stained glass, are solid sols. Solid dispersed in solid. Blood, paints, gums, muddy water, and some forms of pigment. Ink are solid dispersed 
in liquid. An emulsion is a liquid dispersed in either a liquid or solid. The components of an emulsion usually do not mix. An emulsifying agent is mixed to form a stable emulsion. Examples Mayonnaise is a mixture of oil in lemon or vinegar with egg yolks as an emulsifying agent to stabilize the emulsion. Fresh milk is usually homogenized to reduce the size of the fat particles and prevent the separation of an oily upper layer of cream from the colloidal suspension of protein. Cod liver oil, butter, and most ointments and cream used in medicine and cosmetics. Toothpaste Aerosol are suspension of liquid or solid particles in a gas. Examples, clouds and a fog are natural aerosols, which consists of water droplets dispersed in air. Dusty air and smoke are aerosols too. Insecticides, perfume spray, spray paint, are artificial aerosol dispersed in the air. Foams are colloids which consist of gas dispersed in liquid, liquid foams or solid, solid foams. Examples, whipped cream, prots, and a glass of a beer, and soap, latter, are liquid forms. Styrofoam, tumis, yeast bread, and cake icing are solid foams. Gels are colloids which consist of liquid dispersed in solid examples gelatin dessert is a gel silica gel that are placed in small packages in packets of medicines and vitamins pills to keep them dry shoe polish jellies and jam are gels these are the summary of different types of collides and examples when the dispersion medium is water the colloidal system is often referred to as a hydrocolloid the particles in the dispersed phase can take place in different phases depending on how much water is available for example jello powder mixed in with water creates a hydrocolloid a common use of hydrocolloids is in the creation of medical dressing. Uses of colloids Most of the food products which we eat today are colloids, including the dairy products, cake, bread, milk, cream, butter, ice cream, margarine, fruit juices, whipped cream, etc. are colloidal in nature. Medicines in colloidal form are easily absorbed by the body tissues due to the colloidal solution of the blood, the blood clot to stop bleeding when one is wounded. The nature phenomena which we observe such as fog, mist, cloud, and the rain are colloids in different forms. Even dust and smoke are colloidal. The blue color of the sky can be credited to the suspended dust and water particles in the air, which is color blue light more than any other wavelength. Similarly, seawater is blue because of the colloidal impurities present in it, which also scatter blue light. A colloid is present in the fertile soil in the form of clay and humus material. It also plays a vital role in the storage and exchange of mineral. A colloid is used as thickening agent in industrial products such as lubricants, lotions, toothpaste, coatings, etc. In the manufacture of paints and inks, colloids are useful in ballpoint pens. The ink used is gel. 
Colloid are heterogeneous mixtures. Light can pass through colloidal particles. The components of colloid settle at the bottom. Suspension particles are bigger than colloid particles. Solution particles are larger than colloid particles. Other example of colloid, fog, gelatin, butter, mayonnaise, styrofoam, paint, cheese, cloud, jelly. Colloids and its uses. Cotton candy, food, this washing liquid, cleaning dishes, lotion, skin, shampoo, hair, cleaner, butter, spread, mayonnaise, spread, milk, beverage, toothpaste, tooth cleaner, ointment for application, paste to attach a picture on the wall, hair gel for hair styling, ketchup, condiment that in enhances food flavor glue binds materials like cloth or paper a colloid is a mixture of a dispersed paste and a dispersion medium the dispersed medium can also be solid liquid or gas when the dispersed paste and the dispersed medium are both solids colloids called solid salts are formed a colloid is a homogeneous mixture which at times can appear as a heterogeneous mixture. Gels or colloids that result from dispersing liquids in a solid medium. A colloid is a suspension of extremely small particles that remain. Mayonnaise is an emulsion made from vinegar, oil, and egg yolk. The particle of a colloid is big enough to scatter a beam of light, milk, soap, paint, ink, and blood are examples of colloids. Cornstarch in a glass of water is a suspension, but when this mixture is boiled to make a paste, it becomes a colloid. The following colloids are used for food preparation, gelatin, milk and whipped cream, metal alloys, belong to salt type of colloid colloid example oil and water the tyndall effect can be used to distinguish between solutions and colloids example of emulsion or milk shaving cream mayonnaise colloids are composed of molecules bigger than a solution but smaller than a suspension paint Colloid that has both protective and decorative function. Ink colloid used for writing. Gelatin powder used in making gelatin. Gel colloid is applied on hair. Emulsion liquid dispersed in liquid. Gel liquid dispersed in solid. Solid foam gas dispersed in solid. Liquid salt, solid dispersed in liquid. Liquid aerosol, liquid dispersed in gas.